if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel if you are managing your windows machines through microsoft intune so you must be wondering how you can monitor the health of windows machine right so if you're wondering for this so i am going to show you how you can monitor the health of windows machine through the profile so intune can collect the event data and provide recommendation to prove to improve the performance of your windows devices and how we can do that so microsoft is providing endpoint analytics right so that all these data can be collected from your windows machine and analyze for your view so that you can recommend software and improve the setup performance and fix common support issues for windows machine so in the intune you can create the windows health monitoring configurations profile to enable this data collections and then deploy this profile to the devices and this will apply this feature actually will apply to windows 11 and windows 10 19.0 3 and newer devices so how we gonna create this so we there is a two way right we can go to the configurations profile and create the profile or if you don't see then we can just go to the there is two way windows health monitoring so first we'll go to the health monitoring and see if not then we can enable through this configuration profile so this is microsoft in intune portal and if you go to the reports and under the analytics say endpoint analytics okay let's open that okay you see i have not enabled it so see you have two options if you are enabling the first time click on start you can collect the data from all cloud devices or selected group or i'll choose later whatever you want so i'm selected all cloud managed devices select yes let's start it will take few minutes because it's the first time you see here it's coming right so enroll and reboot the devices to see the score and insight it will take up to 24 hours after restart to appear in the repos yeah it, it will take 24 hours so how you can do that so you see all this view you have to go to the settings right and you see intune data collection policy it's already connected because i have just started right so this is very simple way to enable this endpoint analytics so collect the user experience from the intune manage and to get started assign the intune data collection policy so what is that intune data collection policy so let's open in the tab okay and let's see okay started and to target the devices so intune data collection policy so it's already we have applied to everyone but right see it's already scoped to all the devices so it will show here right and the other way which microsoft is suggested right you can go to this here and target but we don't want we have already enabled through this right so if you want you can do this through as well right so let's go to the device and windows device configurations policy and create the new profile okay oh i have already there so you see here win intune data collection policy right so it's the same if you just click on that you will see here intune data collection policy and it's applied to all the devices and you see the health monitoring under enable endpoint analytics let me create a quickly if you go to here windows 10 and select the templates right and here you see the windows health monitoring right click on that create and i'm just giving a name like taste or anything you can give and you see here health monitoring it should be enabled and scope should be uh, both windows update or endpoints you can select or if you want to select 1d endpoint analytics yeah you see and this productively monitor device by tracking device health monitoring and it will you can just assign this to all the devices right here and the rule you can also define assign if the pro profile is os version or os 
edition right you can select the OS editions here right and then this policy will only apply to if, if this rule will meet right so this is how you can apply the profile to the, the devices so you don't have to do uh, it from here and here because both are doing the same thing you just enable through the endpoint analytics or or through the configuration profile so try this method and this will give the very good information to to your tenant and you also will you will see how how actually your your windows devices are performing right and you can see the setup performance proactive remediations and everything here after 24 hours right all in detail and you can export it till then thank you have a good day bye bye